Halloween is a short way of saying All Hallow Even, the night before All Saints Day. But the night traditionally is more than just tricks and treats and happy hobgoblins. Halloween, in the years, has been reserved and legend in a, for the appearance of men and creatures tortured by inhuman and unnatural natures. The false faces may cover deep human agony. In Canada's largest cities, Halloween is a time when the gay people, homosexuals, dress in women's costume and go, attended by jeers from onlookers, to costume parties. The one night each year, they can do so. I was always attracted to a man from when I can remember. Uh, if I saw a, a good-looking person in a movie, a man, or a, a good-looking man on the street, or if my teacher was good-looking, I always was physically attracted to a man. I've had three or four girlfriends in my life, but um, they've never satisfied me. Maybe I've satisfied them, but I didn't get any pleasure out of being with them or doing. But it didn't uh, turn me on or whatever is supposed to happen. <laughs> Only one in my family knows, my younger sister. I uh, told her last year. And um, she uh, said, well, if you're happy, this is what we're brought up to, or taught at home to be happy and do things that we want to do and not to be scared to do something. If it's going to please us, do it. She said, you're still my brother. I will always love you as my brother and this won't uh, cut a barrier between us. So I used to date a girl, which I thought could, I could go straight, but on the side I was picking up men or going with guys, which pleased me more than being with her. Um, then I rejoined, I excluded myself from the world for four, almost five years. In what way? I uh, joined the religious life. And I thought maybe through uh, help of God and grace and such as that this would overpower the feeling I had for being gay, which didn't. So I left the order and came out into the world again, and I'm happy. And when did you first appear in the dragon? Uh, last year at Halloween was the first time. Uh, I've been debating on it for two years. I, I'm a guy. I enjoy being a guy. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be a, a woman. Or I just do this because it's something we can do once out of a year to have fun. I didn't know how to act like a lady. <laughs> I kind of practiced a bit. I was very nervous, uh, especially getting out of the car and seeing loads of people around and shouting different things at you. And my legs were shaking and I was shaking and I wanted to get inside as quick as possible. And I didn't really want to see the crowd. What happened after you got inside? Well, the first thing, I got a good stiff drink. <laughs> so I've been sewing since I've been eight or 10 years old. I guess it's a gift from my ancestry. <laughs> my grandmother was, uh, the seamstress, she made jewelry, she made hats, she could crochet and all this stuff. This year I'm doing, a, it'll be a white satin uh, with an embroidered peacock on the front with the real peacock uh, eyes of the real peacock, tail feathers of a peacock. I want to have it covered, so I'm going to make a, a coat, evening coat, and uh, I'll remove it when I get up on stage as elegant as I can, and then I will reveal the peacock. The reason for this is um, most people uh, expect you to come in a gown and that's it. This way there'll be a little suspicion underneath uh, all of the... A little bit of showbiz? Yeah. <laughs> what other accessories are you wearing with your gown? I'm, I'll be a redhead or auburn hairpiece wing. Uh, I have peacock earrings, which I made. I'll be wearing white 
High Heel, and uh, Mother of Pearl leading me back, and um, wake up. In my wake, I got from a friend, his wife, I borrowed it from her. I, I work with this chap, and he knows I'm gay, and she knows I'm gay. I've taken them to a couple of the bars and the clubs that I go to, and they have nothing against gay people. And they're very, very good friends. Could you tell me something about the lights? I enjoy the theater. I enjoy nice things. I don't like to be hurt. I don't like to hurt anybody. I, I like, I'm not rough or I like pleasing people. Uh, it's a very difficult life to live, uh, mainly because you meet a lot of public people, which uh, are supposed to be straight people, and they look down at, on us as, uh, they don't accept us as being gay. They think uh, we are queers. Uh, in gay life, love to me means finding somebody that you can live with, share the same things with, uh, come home to from work at night and there'll be somebody there that you want. Um, you're able to go to movies, go to the theater, uh, do things that an ordinary married couple would do. Do you think that Mr. Trudeau's new legislation on homosexuality will have any effect on gay life? I think it will help us quite a bit in the way that we won't be afraid to move, uh, we won't be scared to do things that uh, we ordinary do in the sly, sit and uh, not be afraid that there's a cop going to come in and say you're sitting too close or you're holding hands or you're doing this or you're doing that. We won't be afraid to do that. Does it relieve the fear of... Uh, Being watched like a, a hawk or somebody over us all the time. Be open. Mm -hmm.